For the final time this season, I say good evening and welcome here to the season finale for the PCS Ray Foster Series, the 30th race of the season. We have four drivers battling for the championship to conclude what has been a thrilling of a season. They are Cody Smart, Caleb Hobbs, Sean Art, and CJ Bracken. One of these four gentlemen is going to take home the championship. Here today, Sam Davis starts on the pole. Remy Crampton alongside. That's uh, the 31 of Kaylee Rankin. And who is that behind right next to Kaylee? That is Cody Smart, one of the four drivers in the championship. Show you the rest of your starting grid over here the right side. Sean Art is starting in fifth. Um... C.J. Bracken starts 10, so three of our playoff contenders. But where's Caleb Hobbs starting? 36, as the command has already been given. So I don't need to go over the point standings as far as that's concerned. We have another battle of as far as the championship is concerned. As uh, By the way, here is the point standings going into the season finale. The battle is going to be the Rookie of the Year honors. Only two drivers can win this uh, Rookie of the Year, even though theoretically three drivers are eligible. But Jessica Shelton, who is retiring after this race, it's going to be a bit of a long shot to make up eight points. Noah Platts has a two-point lead over Jaleesia Kuzman. So what Shelton needs to have happen is Noah Platts to DNF, along with Kuzman, and she would win the Rookie of the Year honors. That's going to be a bit of a long shot, though, if you know what I mean. Last week was our final elimination race, which we saw the departures of Emmanuel Hartnett, Jesse Art, Nick Voiles, and Quentin Moore, who were the four drivers eliminated after the season, after the final elimination race last week at Atlanta. Four drivers are battling for a championship, 38, trying to end their season with a trip to victory lane. The final race of the PCS Ray Foster Series, the 40 Caboose 400, about to get underway. We are green for the final time this season. Good start for Sam Davis. For Hobbs Smart. Sean Art, C.J. Bracken, they got to finish ahead of one another to win the championship. That's all they have to do. Everybody else, just try to find victory lane to end off their season. Whether you've had a struggling season or a good season, you want to end off with a trip to victory lane. As Sam Davis will lead the first lap, they're nearly four wide in the back. Right around the playoff contenders. Cody Smart is the highest of the playoff contenders. We'll keep an eye on that in just a second. As Remy Crampton is going to go for the race lead. Crampton comes into this race 25th in the points. Would like to end off her season with a trip to victory lane. Knowing she will not be back in this car next season. She would love to end off her tenure with a trip to victory lane. As Sam Davis trying to hold off the seven machine. Sam Davis still has the race lead going into turns one and two. This is a mile and a half track. This is a... This is a uh, different version than what I had um, last year. I had the flat version. Check the back of the field. Carlos Sonat's back here at the rear of the field. Zachary Taylor in his final start before he drives the 20 next season. There's playoff contender Caleb Hobbs, who's not doing his championship hopes any favors. Stephen Bear making his second start of the season in that 39 for Means Racing, Jimmy Means. Bianchi in the 36. There's Nick Foyles, there's Nathan Orman. There's Jaleesia Kuzman, second in the Rookie of the Year standings. We'll have to keep an eye on where the 21 is. 
settle down before you have it flipping. As we're checking through the field here. There's Quentin Moore, who just recently got eliminated from the playoffs. There's the rookie points leader, Noah Platts. All Noah Platts has to do is if Huseman and Shelton does not score rookie of the year points, Noah Platts will take home the rookie of the year honors. And they're nearly four wide. Oh, this is not going to end well. Sean Art, Jackie Tang, Daniel Witter, and Chase Brooks. They were really four wide there. That would have been detrimental, in, in particular the 99. As Blue Jr. cannot shut up as I just bopped him in the nose. Right now, Cody Smart is still the highest playoff contender as, as far as the uh, championship is concerned. But we're still in the early stages of this race. Sam Davis would like to end his season with a trip to victory lane. Got eliminated after the round of 12. Just trying to finish his season off of the trip to victory lane. We'll be back in that number 11 next season. Remy Crampton in second. Shane Lake battling playoff contender Cody Smart. Cody is the only veteran driver in the championship four. So we're checking the back of the field. Zachary Taylor is back here at the rear of the field. Not making up any ground, even though he's he was already eliminated after the round of 16. There's not William Davis. Caleb Hobbs not doing his championship hopes any favors. Nearly came down to Laney Fredrickson. Fredrickson, this is her final start. Or she'll, she won't be back in that ride next season. Scarlett Wallace, not sure what she's doing next season. Tori Gossett, this is her final start in this ride. Nathan Orman's back here. Jaleesa Kisman not doing her championship hopes any favors. As far as the Rookie of the Year is concerned, she's currently battling with Jesse Art, who just recently got eliminated from the playoffs last week. Okay, Anderson, Nick Foyles, and there's Maxi Chilton. He'll be full-time in this series next season in the 54 for Joe Gibbs Racing. Daniel Hartnett, who just recently got eliminated. And that's the story of Emmanuel Hart and its career in this series. Is whenever he's in championship contention, he either gets eliminated or it just completely falls apart for him. And so far it has fallen apart. It fell apart for him when it mattered the most. And unfortunately, you know, he's not going to win the championship now two seasons in a row if you count the 2016 season. So far, these drivers just being respectful as we're on lap number 14 of 41. All 42 cars did take the green. Cody Smart, as I said, is the highest playoff contender where the other three, Sean R is 12. Where is baby CJ? He's 14th. And, of course, Caleb Hobbs all the way back in 34th. Now comes the question. Noah Platts is 14th. Where is the gal that came into this race second in the rookie of the year? That would be Kuzman. So right now, as things stand, Noah Platts would take home the rookie of the year honors. Depending if Jessica Shelton has something to say about that. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know if Steven's cooking something or not, but he should have not left the kitchen when he's cooking something. But does he care? No. 
We're gonna be cramped in there. There's Shane Lake. And there's Jessica Sheldon. Looks like she got a little tight going through the corner. That's because Allie Liera was to the inside of her. These playoff contenders, just taking it easy. Of course, like I said, Cody Smart, you know, being the only veteran left in the playoffs. Of course, remember Hartnett got eliminated, Quentin Moore got eliminated, Nick Voiles got eliminated, Jackie Tang, who we thought was going to win the championship, and Zachary Taylor, you know, who, let's be honest, Taylor didn't even have a good season in Foster's, which he ended up like in the 30s. I mean, I don't know if he was going to win the championship or not, but besides the point, you know, it is what it is, so. Right now, Shelton, as of now, would not win the Rookie of the Year honors. It would more than likely go to the 21. Remy Crampton, Sam Davis, they don't even care about a championship. They're just trying to find victory lane. Jessica Shelton will end off her career after tonight's race is over. Shelton will be in the All-Star race next year. We don't know what ride she'll be in for next season. Probably going to be in that Legacy Club one race deal. And we have not had a caution so far. That's a bit surprising. Nathan Norman, three wide with Jesse Art and Scarlett Wallace there. That was close from being contact there as we're past the halfway mark in tonight's race. Right now, Cody Smart, if things stand, he would be your champion. And I did remind everybody in the VC just before I went up to the booth, and I said, please do not boo if Cody Smart wins the championship, because if you do, you could get automatically ejected from Triple P for disorderly conduct and a possible $500 fine. And possibly have your predictions not count on top of that. Sean currently in the top 10. Trying to chase down Cody Smart. Been a pretty impressive rookie year for Sean. Only three rookies made it in the final four to compete for the championship. Cody Smart's the only veteran driver who didn't make the playoffs. And here's the bit of a shocker. The three drivers battling for the championship are ineligible to win the rookie of the year honors. Ooh, but Sean's trying to take it four wide here. That could get sketchy. Oh, it's going to get sketchy. Oh, Jackie Tang got out, had to get out of it. And there's baby CJ. So right now, I only see, like I said, three of the four playoff contenders up here. That is Bracken, Sean Art, and Cody Smart. And Caleb Hobbs is not even out of the 30s. He's still 33rd. Right now, Hobbs would be fourth in the standings as of now. Cody Smart right there in the 17, trying to, go, trying to go underneath Jessica Shelton. What a year it's been for Cody Smart. Got placed on probation for the 
incident with Daniel Voiles in the uh, Triple P at the end of 2022, which, yes, this series did start in 2022. And now here he is trying to win his very first championship in what is, you can technically say, his second year. And the first in the next-gen card. Sam Davis, still your race leader. Right now, Jessica Shelton is still a long shot to win the Rookie of the Year honors. And it looks like Jaleesia Kuzman's chances of winning the Rookie of the Year honors is appear to be slipping away unless we have a massive accident. And Shelton just went up the almost got into the wall there off of through one and two rather. Wonder her handling starting to go away on that number nine machine. Saw the 45 just checked up on the inside line. Not sure if the car got tight or something like that. Surprisingly, we have not had a caution to bunch these drivers up. Checking through the field. Right now, the fan. Right now, Nathan Orman saying, Yay, Sean has not wrecked the field. The one thing these drivers better not have is a mechanical problem to end their seasons. We're down to 10 laps of racing to go in this championship race. Cody Smart has been the. The, uh, the, uh, highest of the, um, of the, uh, playoff contenders. As of now, it's Cody Smart's championship to lose. The last thing these drivers do not want to see is a yellow. And that could really make things interesting. And so far, we have not had a caution. We've had a couple of close calls of where we thought we were going to have a caution, and we didn't. Remy Crampton still leads. Cody Smart still trying to hang on to win the championship. Wouldn't it be a cool story for Cody Smart to say that he finally wins the championship? You know? Made his debut in 2016. Of course, he came in very late in the 2016 year. Won his first ever Foster race in, I believe, his third career start. Of course, he did run more than seven races to where he was ineligible to win for the uh, to win the Rookie of the Year honors for this season. Seven top fives, 14 top tens, one pole, and an average finish of 15.5. And now he's five laps away, well, four laps away from picking up what would be a historic championship for RFK Racing. I mean, I didn't expect the 78 to make the playoffs. I didn't even expect... 
Quinton Moore to make the playoffs, and they did. As we're going to be coming to three laps of, or I think we're going to be coming to, yeah, we're actually coming up to four to go, sorry. It'll be three to go next time by. Just miscount how many laps are left, but that's okay. It's been a long season for us. And Cody Smart, who announced he was coming back to RFK Racing, if he ends up winning the championship, he will be heading into next season in the Foster Series as the defending champion of the series. As we are down to three to go. Can anyone stop the Lickos Ford uh, Mustang out of RFK Racing? F Ford Blue Jr., by the way, Blue Jr. Is, has not been feeling well. That's why he's home and doing homework right now in his room. So he didn't even go to school today. So that's why I'm keeping <laughs> an eye on him doing homework. Oh. Remy Crampton trying to become the first and only three-time winner or actually, let me rephrase that. Yes, yeah, she would be the first three-time winner. I'm correct. White flag. One more time around in the championship race. End the season. I almost thought I, almost thought I saw the Jimmy outside. I was about to say, what the? Remy Crampton. We don't know what she's doing for next season, but she's going to end her season with a win. Remy Crampton is no doubt going to win the race, but coming off of turn number four, Cody Smart is the 2023 Foster Series champion. The kid from Vermont has done it. And Cody Smart will head into next season as the defending Foster Series champion. And for some reason, drivers are backing up into one another. Up, oh, yellow's out, but it doesn't matter. Race is over, y'all. <laughs> what a season in the Foster Series. The first season with this next gen car. He's Cody Smart, oh, yeah. your champion like, of the world in Fosters. Remy Crampton is the winner. Cody Smart second. Sam Davis third. Shane Lake fourth. Daniel Witter fifth. Good run for Daniel Witter after a rough year she's had. Jack Jessica Shelton sixth. She is mathematically eliminated from, the, from winning the Rookie of the Year honors. Jackie Tang seventh. Sean Art eighth. Gave it his all. He'll end up second in points. Kayla Rankin and Sabre Fox complete the top 10. CJ Bracken came home 14th. He will finish third. And Caleb Pops will end up 33rd. He'll finish fourth. Some of these drivers didn't have good finishes. Stephen Bear, 34th. Zachary Taylor, 30, uh, 41st. Sorry. Nick Boyles, 21st. But here comes the question. Where did the 21 finish? This is the critical one. Platts finished 20th. Let's see, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The 77 didn't even get Oops, into sorry. the top 10 in the Rookie of the Year, so I can officially say Noah Platts, despite finishing 20th, will take the Rookie of the Year honors in the Foster Series. All right. It's fine. It didn't affect my shorts anyway. But anyway, yeah. what a race. What a season. Mm -hmm. and, and, it was just, uh, and I'm season, so happy season this season is over. finally over. Congratulations to Remy Crampton on winning today's race. Congratulations to Noah Platts on taking the um, on taking the Rookie of the Year honors. But congratulations to Cody Smart 
For the first time in his tenure, he is the champion of the Foster Series, finally. And he's only done it for two seasons. It's taken him two seasons for him to win the championship, and he's done it here tonight at Homestead Miami Speedway. What a great job for that 17 bunch. But hope you guys enjoyed today's race. Hope you guys enjoyed this season. If you enjoyed this race, if you enjoyed this season, please give this video a like. Subscribe to become a part of the PCS Ray Crew today. We've shown your full finishing results all the way to 42nd. Nobody DNF. These are your point standings. These are your final rookie points, and I, have co I am correct. Noah Platts is the rookie of the year for the Foster Series. And that, my friends, is how the 2023 season comes to an end. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We will see you guys next season for the Foster Series continuation. And find out, can Cody Smart win the championship in 2024? We will have to find that out next season. Until then, I've been Dean DeVos signing off. Thank you for watching this season, another broadcast of PCS Ray TV, celebrating 13 years of existence, the best in our racing since 2017. Good night from Homestead.